We are going to make a video now on the de-googling process. In this case, we are going to de-google an LG G3 phone. Uh, I've been using this phone de-googled for many months. And, uh, well, we're, we're at 9CI, really, really pleased with it. Um, it's really cool because uh, this phone has got a removable battery. Um, so uh, it's, it's actually a user serviceable phone. And as we've seen in a previous video, you can replace the screen and digitizer and it's not too complicated. This will be a little bit more involved. This is assuming you're familiar with Windows and command line and it's assuming you know how to download and move files and things like this. So, um, but we thought it'd be interesting just to see the process that's involved. So we'll have a document for this as well. We've made a document for the LG G3 uh, version D852, which is the Canada version, but this is the LG uh, G3 D850. And if I just pull up from the Lineage uh, website and we go to downloads, and uh, we scroll into LG. If we look at the D850, it's the AT&T version. Okay, so when we can see that, this phone happens to have the nice uh, little uh, AT&T logo there. So we'll, we'll come back to this screen in a little bit. But right now, the important thing is that this de-googling process for this particular phone and model, we have to be starting on Android 4 or Android 5. Um, so, there are a number of ways to get back to that. Um, for the G3 D852, uh, we have some files and a custom ROM that you can download, or not a custom ROM, but an earlier ROM that you can download, which has Android 5 on it, and that works. Um, but uh, the better way, and what we're using more now, is a tool um, that's called um, the uh, Octoplus Box. And it used to be a hardware box, but uh, uh, shown on the screen here is uh, Octoplus, and they're moving to a software version only. So this is licensed software, and uh, we have purchased a six-month license for um, LG phones. And this gives us access to do many things with phones, but in this case, we're just using this utility to blast an old image onto the phone. And a lot of phone uh, manufacturers don't allow you to rev back. Um, I've experienced many different phones that don't allow you, once you upgrade to a certain version of Android, um, the phone carrier, the phone manufacturer will not provide utilities to, to rev back. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this phone and blast an image on um, that is, uh, that is, uh, the earliest version that we can get. So um, if we go into uh, support options here and we go into the files downloader, one of the nice things about this, uh, this licensed software is we've got access to multiple images on multiple devices, like pretty much entire LG line. And I'm going to download um, the oldest image that I can get. And this particular one is from 2014. Okay, so I've already downloaded that to save time. This is already set in my, in, in my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is actually go back to the LG Qualcomm, because this is a chipset that's, that's on here. And um, we are going to uh, select the firmware file that we are going to uh, download. Okay, so now what we're going to do is browse to the file that we downloaded. And in this case, it's the October 15th, 2014. There's another image. There's just different images we've tried. So I'm going to uh, open that file, and we are going to write firmware to this phone. Now, um, again, the phone is on and connected to the computer, and it's set. All you have to do to connect, uh, in this case, is just have it on file transfer mode. You don't even need to be in debug or anything fancy like that. As long as the phone can do file transfer, um, so, and the computer, uh, because we've already installed the United Mobile driver, uh, the LG driver, the USB driver, the computer is seeing it. And uh, whether we pick COM 10 or 11, it, 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 it doesn't seem to matter. The, the software will, will pick whatever COM port. As long 
As long as it's not COM1, if you pick another COM port, uh, the software will find the phone. That's been my experience. So we've got the firmware set here. Now we're going to go write firmware, and it's going to establish communication with the phone. And we can see checking data. It's saying it's founded on COM11. Now it gives you the message, downgrading may lead to phone damage. Okay, should we be nervous? Um, at this point, we've done so many of these things, not worried. So we're going to click continue. Okay, now it's asking us what partitions um, uh, do we want to write to this phone? And uh, all, of them. all of them. In this case, we're going to select all. Now, that's what's really powerful about this, this program is, is if you're really uh, getting into these phones and want to do certain things, we can choose certain partitions. But in this case, we're going to write all. Okay, so that's already by default selected. So the phone is going to be switched into download mode. Uh, we probably see something pop up on the screen. LG is going to, the phone is going to reboot. And there it is in the firmware update mode. Okay, so it's, uh, it's made communication with the phone. Now it's asking, do you want to format user data? Okay, so if you were just restoring the operating system on your phone and you didn't want to lose any of your data, you could say no. But in this case, we don't care. This is a this is a used phone you've you've purchased from somewhere. It's it's carrier SIM unlocked. So yes, we wanna we want to format the user data as well. Now the system takes a while to write because that is the the bulk of the uh, of the uh, data. So right now it's taking a long time because we're writing a few gigabytes of data. Those other partitions uh, that you saw getting written are very small. They're just uh, tens of megabytes of data. So this is the bulk of things and it will take uh, about three or four minutes. Okay, so that uh, finished. That took about um, seven minutes. And the phone is rebooting itself. And it will take a little bit because when you erase user data on the phone, uh, the, uh, the operating system senses that, hey, there is a blank user data uh, section and it needs to write the, the default parameters. So after the phone is rebooting, we're going to see, you saw that little LG icon. What I expect to happen is after this, uh, this AT&T logo, which once we have uh, lineage, uh, once we do Google it, we're not going to see any of this stuff anymore. Um, but once this is done, we're going to see probably an Android file copy progress. Okay, so instead, some phones have a little uh, Android progress. What we saw was the was the AT&T logo just staying on the screen a lot longer. So while we were waiting for it to boot up, um, it was it was writing the user data defaults again. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, in order to carry on with what we want to do uh, for actually rooting the phone, we need to enable developer mode so that we can uh, put this phone, uh, communicate with the computer in debugging mode. So, okay, so, um, not now, exit. I just want to get the phone working. Um, I'm going to just check off all the stuff. It doesn't matter because this isn't going to be the final... Um, operating system on here anyway. So all I'm interested in doing is getting into the um, overall settings of the phone and uh, wherever that happens to be. Mm -hmm. Do you have to scroll up? Okay. Settings menu. Okay, so I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi just so we don't irradiate ourselves. If I go into general and then about phone and then I go into software information um, we're going to tap on build number seven times. Okay, I tapped on it maybe eight or nine times. I just go tap, tap really quickly. So now we're a developer. That allows us to go back in, uh, in uh, menus, I think two menu options, and then we should see developer options here. Okay, um, showing warning developer mode can cause a regular behavior of our device. Well, that's exactly what we want. So. Um, we want to enable USB debugging, but notice it's grayed out right now because we've got a currently active USB connection. So I'm going to unplug that and I'm going to enable USB debugging. And again, we're clicking through the error message for OK. Now I'm going to plug in 
And this time we should see uh, Oh, it's in uh, USB is set right now for just charging. So we want to send, um, we want to set this char uh, this phone into transfer files. So now that the phone is actually in uh, developer mode and file transfer mode, we're connected to the computer and we actually see a little Android debug symbol. So that means we're able to communicate with this phone. Uh, with a utility called uh, uh, ADB. So the next part of our process is going to be um, uh, rooting the phone. We, we want to have root access to this phone. So uh, we're going to look at the PC here and we are going to uh, close this program here and we are going to um, Yeah, we want to copy, uh, we want to make sure that we have downloaded and copied the platform tools to the root of our C drive. Okay, so I've copied that. If I look in here, we're going to see a bunch of files. Um, I've got some extra files in here, but the, the main thing is we want to see ADB, Fastboot, all these things. So this is the directory that we're going to be working from. Okay. Um, we know the phone is connected, the drivers are working, the phone is connected to the computer in debug mode. Okay, so um, the LG root script, we have downloaded that and we've extracted it to the root of C again. And uh, I need to copy it still, so I've got it up in the downloads folder. Uh, thank you, LG root script is in here. So I want to copy this, all the contents of this, and we want to put it to C. I'm just going to paste it there. The reason I'm just saying the root of C is just, you'll see when we start getting into command line, it's just easier than having to browse through all kinds of directories and stuff like that. Okay, let's uh, let's fire up a command, a command prompt right now. So uh, generally speaking for this process, any command prompt, I'm going to fire up and launch run as administrator. And it will prompt, there will be a security message on your screen. And I will just drag this up into our, into our active window here. And what I want to do is change directory to the root of C. So CD space forward slash Okay, so we're in LG root script. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to um, run. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm just checking on the phone again here. We're not getting any prompts to. Um, I'll keep the screen on here just so that uh, maybe what I'll do uh, actually in settings. I don't care about that message right now is, is just keep the screen on all the time so that we don't time out. Okay, so now we want to uh, run the uh, uh, LG root batch file right now. So if I just uh, um, uh, type in LG root dot bat. Okay, so now it's starting ADB. So we see on the screen here, always trust from this computer. We want to make sure we check that. And uh, that's it. So the phone's going to reboot. So it's nice. Somebody took the time to actually wrote, write this batch file. The phone again might not be in uh, in in its uh, file transfer mode. We want to have it in yeah in media sync mode. It's waiting for a device. Okay. Um, it says done. All those commands executed carefully. Now we just follow the instructions very carefully. Um, <laughs> I was going to follow uh, to reboot, but it's automatically done its reboot, so there's really nothing to do. I was going through, uh, the last time I did this, I had to actually push Control-C and type N and everything like that. But um, 
So that's the end of it. So now Android's rebooting, and the way we can tell that the um, the phone has been rooted is we connect to it again. Or, or, uh, it's not logging in. What do you do when you when you swipe up on the phone? Unlock. That's the word. Unlock the phone, um, and what we should see is a, a new icon uh, called Super SU. And as you can see, there it is right there. So now we know the phone has been rooted. Now we can start doing some, now we can start uh, uh, get the uh, custom lineage partition installed here. So what we need to do is we need to download uh, for what we're going to do, we're, we're going to need the lineage recovery and the lineage, actually, the, the operating system files. And we're going to actually want them in the same folder. We want to download them and put them in the same folder as our platform tools. Okay? So I'm going to go back to the root of C and uh, change into platform tools. I'm going to go to the lineage OS website. And I'm in the builds for the D850. Okay, I'm going to download the operating system here. So that's the first file. And I'm just going to save it. And by default, it's going to save it into our downloads folder. And then I'm also going to download the recovery image file and save it to the same location. So we've got the two um, LG images. The Nightly, which is the main image, and the recovery. I'm just going to um, copy them, can move them, paste them, whatever you want to do. I'm just keeping the original ones in the download. So I'm going to put them both in the platform tools folder on the root of C. Okay. So now we're going to go into our command line again. And we can see that we've got these files here. The two lineage files are there. Again, there's a bunch of other files for other phones and things we've been experimenting with. So what we want to do is make sure we've got to put our phone now um, into, um, uh, we, we need to be able to run ADB. And so I can see right now this phone isn't in debug mode. So let's just uh, go to settings again and um, general, I think we have to just check that developer options, USB debugging is off right now. So installing the root user thing put the phone back into its default settings again. So I'm going to lower the brightness. Is that looking good on the video? Yeah. It's pretty good. And then I'll turn the screen timeout back to keep it on all the time. Um, so yeah, uh, rooting the phone uh, wiped the user data. So now I'm going to actually go into the settings again. General, and we've done this before. Uh, we want to enable USB debugging. Okay. Now I'm going to plug into the computer one more time. USB debugging connected, and we see our little. Um, we are see our little icon, the debug icon. Now going up to our command prompt again, the way to confirm that we've got a good ADB connection is just to go um, ADB devices. I like to do that just so that we can see that, okay, hey, there is a valid phone attached and the computer is able to communicate with it. Yeah, so we've copied the file. We know that we've reconnected the phone. It was just before when we did that command that you're gonna do yeah. the cut, right? Okay. You do your push. Yeah, so all we have to do is type in, uh, I'm just going to confirm that ADB devices is listed there, and we're going to go ADB push uh, lineage. I'm going to change this, obviously, to the recovery image. Um, we're going to the SD card. And we are going to call it the uh, lineage recovery again. So I'm going to have to backtrack here. Recovery IMG. And that's it. 
right? So we're telling ADB to push the recovery image to the to the um, root of the phone. Essentially, SD card is the root of the phone's memory, and we're going to push that one file. Okay, that's done. Now we want to um, do an ADB shell. Okay, and we've got our shell command, so we're now we're actually looking at the file system on the phone itself, but now we want to and do this in super user mode. Okay, on the phone itself is um, answer the question grant, and this is the this is the benefit of rooting the phone, is that the phone sensed, hey, somebody wants root access, do you want to allow it or deny it? So we've allowed that. So we've got root access, now we're into the file system of the phone. Now, our next command is going to be transferring that recovery image that we've got on the, on the root of the phone into its proper place. So, <clears throat> it's not a pleasant command, but here goes, dd if equals forward slash SD card forward slash uh, we want uh, that file name mm -hmm. which is looking good recovery dot because it's there um, uh, we've got a space there of equals forward slash dev forward slash block forward slash platform forward slash msm underscored sdcc dot one forward slash by dash name forward slash recovery okay <clears throat> so if I've typed that all properly what what's going to happen is that it's going to copy or or it's going to copy this file into the proper recovery partition on the phone itself okay yeah. so um, the instructions say to just uh, do a reboot recovery from uh, as the next command, and uh, um, if that doesn't work, um, you can go back to your regular ADB shell and just and just go ADB uh, uh, reboot uh, recovery. Or what I did in this case was powered off the phone and then just um, boot into the recovery partition manually. Okay. And so in that case, powering off and then holding the volume down button, holding the power button until you see the LG logo release and then hold them down again. And then you get the option to do a factory reset. And when you go through and say yes, yes, then you see this screen right here. So now we are ready to actually, we've got, we're, we're getting there. We're halfway, halfway through. We've got a recovery a lineage recovery on this phone. Now we have to put the main operating system on this phone. And that's going to be done with um, uh, with with uh, with side load. But first, there's a few things we've got to do. I'll just see that I'm centered on the camera here. That seems comfortable. I just have to be able to see the screen myself here. So um, we are connected to the phone with the with the uh, uh, with the computer. And I'm going to now um, type uh, factory reset. And we're going to go format data factory reset. I'm going to tap that. And then go format data. And you'll see in, in really large text on the bottom there what's going on. We are going to format the cache partition. And we're going to definitely say yes. And we are going to format the system partition. That might have already been done, but it doesn't hurt to get rid of all that stuff. Okay, now we're going to go back to the main menu. And we're going to go to Advanced. Okay, we've got ADB enabled. You heard the little, maybe the sound on the computer that the ADB connection is valid. And we're going to go Apply Update. 
and we're going to apply from ADB. And now the phone is in sideload mode. So I'm just going to see that I've got ADB devices. I'll just double check that the phone is in fact connected. And you can see it's connected um, and it's in sideload mode. Okay, so now it's quite simple. We're going to just go ADB sideload and we're going to put in this time the lineage nightly build and the tab automatically filled it in. Okay, um, and uh, this will take a little bit of time because it's a big image, but um, the phone, you'll see on the phone itself progress happening there and also on your computer screen you'll see um, it's actually actually it it's not too bad because it's only 500 megabytes that we're transferring via USB 2.0. Um, yeah so <clears throat> failed to read command no error um, that might be a cosmetic thing because it said uh, scripts uh, succeeded result was 1.0 Zero, zero. So I think we're good. We'll find out very quickly. Right now what's nice is because we've got the recovery partition or the recovery on this phone, the recovery image, we can easily reboot the phone and try this. But I think everything is looking good so all we have to do is go um, ADB reboot right now. Um, and uh, the phone automatically reboots and um, if all is well, I'm going to unplug the USB here, if all is well we should, we should actually see the, li the Lineage OS um, logo appear. Um, and if it's not, we can try the sideload again or uh, another possibility rather than sideloading um, is doing it via an SD card, but the Lineage operating system is uh, booting, so we're good. Um, what I have seen sometimes with the DOS command prompt is that the phone finishes, uh, it, look at what the phone is telling you on the screen, that if it says success then, then it's fine. So I think what happened is that the ADB connection just timed out. And uh, So here we go, we've got a brand new uh, lineage operating system on here. So. Um, the, the next step aside from uh, going through the through the uh, actual setup, what we want to do is enable phone so that we can push uh, and install the F-Droid app. But you can do that via ADB or you can simply go through the wizard here, connect to your local Wi-Fi or your, your, your data plan and go to fdroid.com and download the F-Droid app. Download the APK and uh, run the APK and then you've got the F-Droid application uh, which is the uh, lineage equivalent of the Google Play Store and all the apps that appear on F-Droid are going to be safe apps for your phone. So there you have it. That's a de-googled LG G3.